Although this video may employ a treadmill or console style that is different than what you have with your machine, this is not a problem. The steps to replace a wire harness are virtually identical across all styles of treadmills and consoles. If you have any questions while watching this video, see the instructions in your owner's manual for further details. There are a number of problems that a loose wire can cause for your treadmill. If a component of your treadmill is not functioning properly and your machine is brand new, it could be that something was knocked loose during in-home assembly. If your treadmill was working correctly for a time, and now no longer does, it is possible that with the vibration and pounding of use, a wire somewhere has worked itself loose. The most common place for a wire to work itself loose is on the controller board. You will have to remove the motor hood to get to the controller board. Now before doing this, be sure to remove the safety key from the console and unplug the power cord from the wall. Do not use power tools during this procedure. Sure, they make the job move along more quickly, but they can just as quickly damage your treadmill's components. The procedure for removing the motor hood is described in the troubleshooting section of your owner's manual. You can also consult our video that demonstrates this procedure visually. wires off the controller board and then reseat them. Doing this risks bending one or more of the pins on the board. If you bend any of the pins, you will have another problem in addition to a loose wire. All you need to do is gently push down on each of the connectors to make sure they are fully seated. Is this the culprit? Keep checking. Hmm, those feel a little loose. That's it, nice and snug. Another place for wires to come loose is where the upright wire harness connects to the console wire harness. It isn't likely that this connection would work itself loose, but it's easy to check. Two wire harnesses are tucked up into the console under the right hand handrail. Pull the two wires down and check to see if the connectors are snapped together. There is a plastic catch on one of the connectors. If you lift it, you can pull the two apart and snap them back together. Once checked, tuck the connectors and the wires back up into the recessed area you pulled them from. Now replace the motor hood. Now with everything back where it should be, plug your treadmill back in and turn it on. If the problem still persists, consider where the problem is occurring or in which component and consult another of our troubleshooting videos that refers to that particular area or component.